So in Plants vs. Zombies 2, there are four types of plants. Premium, Gemium, Cedium, and Free. Today I'm going to be talking about the Gemium plants. These are the plants that can be unlocked for 100 gems. And there's 14 of them. So like I always say, some of them are better than others. So that's exactly why I made this video. To rank each and every Gemium plant from the worst to the best. So I think it's time that we get started on this video. Number 14. The electric current is a plant that can be placed vertically or horizontally from another electric current to produce an electric gate. It costs 150 sun and also has a medium recharge period. So why is it in the worst place in this whole entire list? Well, let me explain. You see the electric current isn't really easy to set up because of its recharge timer. And if you actually want it to work then you have to spend 300 sun on two of them. But even if we ignore those two facts, the damage is just too low. As it can barely even kill a basic zombie. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, if you want your electric current to not get directly eaten by the zombies, then you have to use another plant that diverts the zombies into other lanes. And the best current solution that we have is, well, you guessed it, it's garlic. The funny thing is, the first Gemium plant I ever bought was the electric current. <sighs> I wish there was an F tier. Number 13. At number 13, we have the peanut, which is a combination of a pea shooter and a walnut, aka the two most power creep plants in the entire game. But that isn't the real problem. The real problem is, if you place it on the right side of the lawn, then the pea shooter part doesn't work. And if you place it on the left side of the lawn, then the walnut part doesn't work. If we place it in the middle of the lawn, then it's like we have a half pea shooter and a walnut. I think we all know that someone came up with the idea and the developers thought it was too good, so they created it. Number 12. The Hypno Shroom hypnotizes the zombie that eats him and basically turns him against his friends. Not gonna lie, I would honestly just use Jalapeno because first of all, the Jalapeno deals massive and same amount of damage to every zombie in the lane. And second of all, the Jalapeno actually helps you in close calls, unlike the Hypno Shroom's chance of getting eaten by the weaker zombie. Plus, they both cause the same amount of sun. The only thing going for the Hypno Shroom is its plant food effect. So I guess a seat here. Number 11. The Homing Thistle is a plant that shoots darts at the nearest zombie to the house costs 250 sun and also has a medium recharge. Don't get me wrong, the homing thistle isn't anything like bad. Actually, the homing thistle is really good when facing the large HP zombies like the gargantuars. But at the same time, it isn't great with huge crowds. Because every homing thistle is targeting one zombie at a time. So you might want to bring another plant or a plant that stalls zombies. I think the homing thistle is good enough for C tier. Number 10. At number 10 we have a sweet potato who basically just attracts every single zombie to its lane. Now I don't have a lot to say about the sweet potato. I mean it can be used in a hundred different ways but those ways are just not really efficient. What I'm trying to say is that the sweet potato isn't really bad, but it's not good either. I think a C tier plant. At number 9, we have my childhood favorite plant, the fire pea shooter. The fire pea shooter is, well, a fire pea shooter. The fire peas deal the double amount of damage of a normal pea. The only question is, why not just use repeater? I mean, the repeater shoots two peas already, which means the same amount of damage. 
The only thing bad about the repeater is that it's 25 sun more expensive. But is that really a problem right now? The only thing going for the fire pea shooter is its plant food, which I guess is pretty good, so I'll see it here. The next plant on our list is squash. Who can squash the nearest zombie? Who deals the same amount of damage as a cherry bomb? It can squash multiple zombies if they are in tight crowds and also doesn't have a really long recharge period. Just another chili bean. At number 7 we have the jalapeno who sets fire to the whole entire lane. Deals the same amount of damage as a cherry bomb. Allows you to get the zombies at the back of the lawn. Has the same recharge as a cherry bomb and is 50 sun cheaper. Just another good insta. Number 6. At number 6 we have the kiwi beast. Which takes the idea of wall plants to a whole new level. As every time it gets eaten it grows into a newer and more powerful stage. See the kiwi beast is another plant that represents the idea of being defensive and offensive but conveys it in a way better way unlike another plant. See the growing stage idea allows you to place the kiwi beast in front of zombies without risking anything. As every time it grows it deals more and more damage. Plus the kiwi beast is great when dealing with crowds of zombies. Mainly because it's an AOE plant meaning that it can damage zombies in an area. That's why I think the kiwi beast is a genius idea that deserves 8 here. Plant number 5. At number 5 we have my favorite plant of all time, the ghost pepper. After being placed on the lawn, the ghost pepper will haunt all zombies in an area and after she deals a lot of damage, she will explode and deal massive damage. Which is enough to kill bucket heads on its own. She is also really good for crowd control. Plus she doesn't have a long recharge time as well, meaning you can use her way more frequently than other plants. Oh yeah. Plus, she's invincible, so bye bye Gargs. At the number 4th place, we have another Jamian plant that is just like the ghost pepper, the lava guava. After being triggered, the lava guava will explode and deal damage in a 3x3 area and leave a lava pool behind. It has the same sun cost and the same recharge as the ghost pepper. Just like the ghost pepper, it is great for crowd control and can be used frequently. Definitely an A tier plant. Now moving on to the third place, we have another OP plant. The sapling. Now the sapling is one of the best stallers in the whole entire game. What the sapling does is that he flings some sap towards the zombies that slow him down. And if you're a Wintermelon fan, then you definitely would love this plant. The sapling is literally so useful in hard levels because of the huge amounts of zombies that this game sends at you. The best thing is that this plant doesn't even have any counter. And the fact that it costs just 75 sun and also has a really fast recharge, definitely an S tier plant for me. The Hurricane is another stalling plant that takes stalling to a whole entire level just like the sapling. The Hurricane is a 100 sun cost medium recharge plant that when planted on the lawn blows so hard that all of the zombies go to the back of the lawn. Now this may not seem that overpowered but listen. Not only does the Hurricane push the zombies to the back of the lawn but also chills them. Combine that with the 14 second recharge period and then you will see why this guy is really good. Now the Hurricane may not seem OP right now but when you actually use it in the game you will exactly see what I am trying to say. Definitely deserves S tier. At first place we have no plant other than the Shrinking Violet. The Shrinking Violet is a plant that once triggered will shrink all the zombies in a 3x3 area, reducing their health to a half. 
It costs 75 sun and also has a medium recharge period. The shrinking violet's usefulness is just too over the top. Even if a level spams guards at you, then you still can easily beat it if you have shrinking violet. Like it's basically another primal potato mine. Even the tankiest of zombies can be defeated by a single bong choy. Then shrinked by shrinking violet of course. Plus the shrinking violet's usefulness is doubled by its 14 second recharge period. When paired with another overpowered plant like wintermelon, then shrinking violet literally shines. Plus the plant food shrinks every single zombie on the lawn. S tier for you. Okay, so this was it for today's video. And this video took a lot of hard work to create. So I would really, 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 really appreciate if you subscribed or even liked the video. Like honestly, you motivated me to make this video and I will still keep making videos for you no matter what happens. But I have to say that I'm not gonna be posting really frequently now because uh, once again, it's back to school season and now the schools have started again. I'm not saying that I will not post videos, I'm saying that I will not post videos frequently. So you may get them after a week and a half. But as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!